If you have a Windows PC with limited storage drive space, freeing up means that potentially you can store an extra game or an important update. However, going through all of your files and deleting them one after another can be a real pain. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can quickly and easily get rid of unimportant data so that you can finally get some of that space back on your storage drive. So, ready to free up some space? Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Subroom we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. When it comes to Windows 10 and 11, your system won't erase files from your hard drive whenever you delete them. Instead the system relocates the files to the recycle bin and marks them for deletion to give you a chance to get them back if you need them again. If you want to free up some space, then clearing all of your old deleted files from your system's recycle bin is the first step. To get back that space, follow these steps. Go to the Cortana search box and type recycle bin. Click the recycle bin option and open the folder. Click on recycle bin tools and click on empty recycle bin. Then click on yes when you see the pop-up appear and there you have it. You've just freed up some space in just a few steps. Storage Sense is a feature built into Windows that can help free up space automatically by removing files you no longer need or use. Let's show you how you can use Storage Sense to free up some memory. Open the settings option by clicking the Windows icon and then clicking the gears icon. Then click on system and then in the left menu bar, click on storage. Under the storage section, click the configure storage sense or run it now option. Turn on the storage sense toggle switch to activate it on your Windows system. Use the run storage sense drop down menu and select the best option for your situation. If you're not sure what would work perfectly for you at this time, simply choose the during low disk space option and check the box opposite the delete temporary files that my apps aren't using box. Next, click on the drop down menu right under delete files in my recycle bin and select never if you choose not to remove the files in the recycle bin. Aside from this option, you can make a selection from the many options available depending on your preference. They range from a day, two weeks, a month or two months. You can also do the same thing with the menu under delete files in the downloads folder if they have not already been opened. For the final step, click on the clean now button on the screen to immediately clear up your disk space. On Windows 10, it is still possible to clear up space using the legacy disk cleanup tool. If you've used Windows in the past decade or more, then you might have heard of disk cleanup and it's still here after all these years. To use disk cleanup to delete temporary files on Windows, just follow these steps. Go to the Cortana search bar and search for disk cleanup. Once it shows up in the search results, just click it to open it up. A pop-up will appear and then at the bottom, click the clean up system files button. You will now see a long list of content that corresponds to the data on your main drive. Click all of the contents that you want to delete and then click the OK button. Afterwards, click the delete files button and after following all of these steps, all of those unnecessary files will be deleted from your system, freeing up your storage space. Another way you can reclaim storage space is by uninstalling apps that you no longer need or rarely use. Games also take up a lot of space, which means keeping your catalogue of games to a minimum can significantly reduce the space usage, improving gaming performance at the same time. To uninstall apps and games on your Windows system, use these steps. Open the settings options as shown before and click on apps. Then click on apps and features. Use the sort by filter and select the size view to quickly identify the apps and games using the most space. Now select the apps that you don't want anymore and you want to remove from your system. Now click the uninstall button and then click it again. Repeat the steps for all the other applications and make sure that you remove all of the software that you don't need so that you can free up as much storage space as you can. If your computer still doesn't have enough space, you can add an external drive like our Sabrin Extreme Q SSD or Rocket Nano SSD to move files over to it. 
You can even configure the system to make the external drive the default location to save files. To transfer existing files to an external drive, connect the external drive to the dedicated computer and then follow these steps. Open File Explorer by using the Windows and E keys together. Browse through folders where your large files are located and select the items that you want to move to your external drive. At the top, find and click the Home tab and then click Move. Now tap the Choose Location option and in the new window, select your external drive as the new destination. Finally, click Move and your files will be relocated to your external drive. Now just repeat these steps to move your other files and folders to your external drive and to increase and free up the space on your system. Now to allow your system to save files and install apps on external drive automatically, follow these steps. Open the settings options by heading to the start menu and clicking on the gear icon. Click on system in the left menu bar and then click storage. Under the more storage settings section, click the change where new content is saved option. Use the drop down menus and select the new location to save files automatically for each content type. Use the New Apps Will Be Saved To drop down menu to select the drive to install future apps in the external drive by default. Click the Apply button for each setting so that the files and apps from the Microsoft Store will automatically save in the new location that you specified. That's it, you've now cleared up some space so that your system can run more smoothly and efficiently. However, before deleting any files and apps, make sure that you have reviewed them thoroughly as you might not get them back. If you found this video interesting and helpful, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more content like this. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.